everyone, welcome into One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Today, we're going to be doing a seven card, I think it's seven, seven or eight, seven card PSA reveal. And it's got all sorts of different baseball cards in it. These were actually all submitted by Patreons of mine. One of the perks of being a Patreon is I will submit cards over to PSA at no additional charge beyond what it costs to get a card graded. So you can basically have me do all the legwork, all the shipping, all of that fun stuff. If you're interested in that, all you got to do is click on the video description. You'll find a link to my Patreon. You can get all sorts of other benefits. That's how you get into my breaks. There's Discord community access. You can get monthly break credits, monthly packs, so much more would welcome you to become a Patreon. But without further ado, let's go ahead and do the PSA reveal. Now, this one's kind of fun because I like some of the players that we have in this reveal. We've got Wander. We've got J-Rod. We've got the captain. We even have the F face. So Ronnie was the first one to submit cards. And so Ronnie, this is your card. What it is, is a Shane McClanahan who has turned into a great young pitcher. This is the gold auto from 2021 tops Chrome. I don't believe it's update yet. It's Shane McClanahan tops Chrome 2021. So let's see what the Shane McClanahan comes in at. Gold Refractor Auto comes in at a Mint 9. So we get the Mint 9 for Ronnie. Ronnie, congrats on that one. Now we also have John B., which I actually think I spelt his name wrong. I think it's with J-O-N, but that's fine. John B., he actually pulled this card in a break of mine, and we submitted it directly. This is a 2022 Bowman Sterling. Beautiful. J-Rod. From Bowman Sterling rookie card, it is the mini diamond refractor. So we've got the Bowman Sterling, very nice one here. Is this numbered? I don't know. The mini diamonds are not numbered. At least I don't think. No, they are not. So, oh wait, and yes it is. This is 15 out of 150. Try and get it on there. It's really hard to see. It's right through here. But anyways, let's see what the J-Rod comes in at. Mini diamond refractor for John B. John, here we go. Gem Mint. 10. So just a beautiful J Rod to 150 from Bowman Sterling rookie card. Awesome that that one gemmed up. Congrats on that one, John. And then we have Chris C. Chris C submitted a few, a couple different cards. So this one, an awesome one. This is a Bo Bichette rated rookie. I think it's 2021 Don, uh, Panini Don Russ. This is the number one emoji. This is a one of one Bo Bichette. Rated rookie. So let's see what the Bobachette one of one rookie comes in at. Comes in at a mint nine. So for a one of one, a nice mint nine right there. Beautiful card to add into any collection. The number one emoji, one of one Bobachette rookie card. Beautiful one for Chris C there. Congrats on that one, Chris. All right. He also submitted another banger of a card. This one, a triple relic Wander Franco. This is from Topps uh, Museum. Museum, right? So it is the signature swatches triple relic autograph. You'll see it's numbered 24 out of 25. So a triple RPA. The Wander from 2022 Museum Collection coming in. The gold parallel at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine, totally hard card to gem up. So a mint nine, a great grade on this, especially being that the card is, you know, a quarter inch thick and lots of different cuts in the middle. So a mint nine, a very good grade on a Wander Franco rookie auto triple patch. Love it. All right. Now we have two Derek Jeter rookies and it's one of my one of my more favorite Derek Jeters. These were submitted by Mike P. So Patreon Mike P. And remember, if you want me to submit cards at no additional cost, I will do that for you. You just have to be a Patreon. You can check out, get all the information in the video description link below. So do that if you're interested and you could have cards on one of these reveal videos anytime. So these are from 19, I think it's 19, yeah, 93 uh, Pinnacle, which if you remember back in 93, this is when the 
high-end card craze. You're still on the back end of what's considered the junk wax era, but we had Derek Jeter. So the first round draft pick, Derek Jeter. Love this card. So let's see what we get to Derek Jeter. Jeter Pinnacle. His first one, he's got two of them he submitted. Hard card to get gemmed up. It comes in at a mint nine. So a very good grade considering it's an all black on front and back. There's so many things that could go wrong with these. So a nine, a very good grade on the 93 pinnacle Derek Jeter first round draft pick rookie. So that was his first one. His second one, same card. Let's see what this one comes in at. This one coming in. Also at a mint nine. So two nice mint nines. This one right here, probably because of that corner. This one was the better of the two. Very nicely well-presented card. Two Jer Derek Jeter rookie cards. High grades on these. Love it. And then we have John W. And John W. submitted one of the most infamous cards in card collecting history. The Billy Ripken 1989 Fleer. F face error. If you look closely on the bat, now you see the error. There's a bunch of different versions of this, but obviously, for obvious reasons, this is the one that everyone wants. It's the F face. This card in a gem mint 10 goes for quite a bit of money. A high grade on this. And when I looked at this, I was like, man, this is this is a nicely, it's a nice presentation on this card this card has a chance to gem up so here we go very hard to gem up as well so we've got the 89 Fleer Billy Ripken F face error comes in at a mint nine still a great grade mint nine 1989 Fleer F face Billy Ripken beautiful one awesome ad addition so John congrats on that one Awesome addition to the PC or even to sell. This card in a Mint 9 sells real well. It's tough to get in a 10. You'll take a Mint 9 all day. So that is it. Were these grades fair? Were they not fair? I think overall, a very nice submission. Some very nice cards in there. Congrats to all the Patreons. And again, remember, if you are interested in me submitting cards at no additional cost, all you got to do is be a Patreon of mine. There's a link in the video description below to where you can get all of the details on Patreon and all of the benefits that that offers. As always, guys, when you're out there in the wild, I hope you're finding the packs that you want to find. And when you rip them, I hope you rip fire. Also, as I always end all of my videos, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. We'll do it again soon.